Good morning, Floss Tube, or good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be when you watch. I'm Jules. Time for another video. It's June 22nd, second day of summer. I'm not happy about that. It has been hot in Colorado, not nearly as hot as it has been in Phoenix and in Arizona. I 100% get that. Um, I'm pretty sure that you guys have better air conditioning than I do, though. Uh, there's not a lot of places here in Colorado because traditionally we haven't really needed air conditioning for the most part because really just three or four months out of the year is, is all you might need to run an air conditioning for most people but I do like it cool in the house so um, when I bought my air conditioning like five six years ago um, I kind of bought a lower efficiency, lower efficiency unit uh, because I didn't really need it very much at that time but I did there are were times where I did need it because of where the bedroom how hot it gets up in there and whatnot but oh man this house cannot I, I at some point I need to save up and get a new air conditioner because um, or we need to save up and get a new air conditioner my, my husband is totally fine with the temperature in the house he likes it warm he's totally fine he likes to open the windows let the breeze in but it's been like in the upper 90s for the last three days or so and I spend my time up in the bedroom where I had a window air conditioner and I get it very chilly in that room and that's just I can't even stitch down here um, at this point I have to go stitch upstairs which is awesome because well okay it's kind of awesome but it's awesome because I'm able to get uh, so much more stitching done when I'm just focused and I don't have the dogs around or anything else like that so um, uh, let's see what's going on so speaking of coldness and hotness and whatnot um my, our neighbors next door um are canadian neighbors they literally are canadians and uh they're expecting their baby they went to the hospital last night to be induced and uh, we're still waiting to hear um you know kind of what's going on but i went over to their house this morning to take care of their dog and uh, oh my god it was so nice and cool in their house they have a really nice air conditioner <laughs> um and uh and so i mean obviously they're canadian so i think they need it cool right so uh but i'm half tempted to go over there today and just hang out with the dog and just stitch over there but um anyway canadian baby very very jealous my husband and i joke sometimes about becoming canadian and going up north um him because he likes the um the solitude and the and the woods and the outdoors and everything and me because I just would like it colder <laughs> than it is here which is surprising I know a lot of people think Denver is cold all the time but not not at all not at all uh, what else is going on we got our patio done uh, I don't know if you heard you could hear in the last video when those guys were here they were just starting to make some noise at, towards the end of the video and uh, it took them another couple of days to finish up but uh, we have a nice big huge patio and it is gorgeous and the dogs uh, are enjoying being able to go back outside again back there and so I'm hoping that at some point we can kind of set up some chairs and whatnot and maybe on the cooler nights whenever those will come again uh, we can um, maybe I can set up some, a stitchy place out there and uh, stitch some but that's pretty much going on it's been just me uh, getting a lot of stitching done this week and um, we've got about two weeks uh, till we have to go to um, Florida so I've been kind of contemplating what I'm gonna do for Florida as far as cross stitching is concerned because I'm definitely taking a project I mean we all know we don't go anywhere without a project right so um, there's two possibilities and I've talked before in multiple videos about my black and white kind of like this the Ronnie Rowe design that's up here I have another one that is done and I was looking for it this morning and I can't find it and it's probably downstairs in the basement but uh, I did find the one that I haven't finished I don't remember what this one is called um, I really don't I think that's market square that might be market square tavern I'm not sure and then I have the piano teachers house that's done and then this might be Williamsburg but I'm not 100% sure but you can see how much I've got done and so it's a little over a fourth I'm on the second page of four pages but that's what it looks like right now and I mean it's just it's really easy to do it's just black black um, it's 310 and it's just a matter of just knowing kind of where you're you're going and I don't even have this gridded I probably should grid it and then I'd go really fast with it and um, and, and try that route but so am I gonna do that um, for the trip 
I don't know because part of me is at this point really wanting to get Yoda done. Um, I feel like I'm rounding the third, heading towards the fourth corner, heading towards home kind of thing. And you'll see kind of what I've got done on Yoda this week. Um, so I got a little bit more done. And really, I mean, I don't have a whole lot. I think the pattern is only going to go down to about here-ish. I need to grid some more. But I haven't gotten a ton done, but um, boy, it just looks great in the camera. That's crazy. But um, yeah, because right now it's just two colors. It's just this, um, it's a 612, 612 and then the 310. And that's the majority right now of what, really what needs to be stitched. So I might just take that one with me just because I can definitely get that done. And then throw the, um, I did just throw that across the room. And then um, throw the black and white piece in the rotation just to get done here and there. Just, you know, just to work on it. Because that one, really, if I focus on it, it does take a while. But I think if I grid it, if I do actually grid it, it will go a lot faster. Um, all right. I think it's going to be a short video today. Because I just, I, it's not lots going on. You know, when it's hot, I just, I'm just like, let me just stitch. And that's all I want to do. I'm not even watching TV or anything. I watch YouTube videos. I watch Floss Tube. And that's about it. And um, I'm just... I'm just the stitching. So, um, Rainy Waterloo Place that I'm working on, my sepia tone piece. Oh, yeah, I'm not showing apothecary shop today. I um, didn't get anything done this past week. It was all pretty much, well, I got different things done, but Old Roller Map 2, you're going to see some big progress on that. But that was most of my progress, and I just put apothecary shop away for now <clears throat> because it's been so difficult. I'm like, I'm not feeling it. Let me just put it away. I'll come back to it. It'll be fine. But Rainy Waterloo Place, I am getting so close to finishing the top row of pages. Um, let me show you where I'm at. So there's that. As you can see, the how big the piece is. Um, this is from Cross Stitch Collectibles, for those of you who may not have heard of this before. But you can see, I mean, I pretty much got, I got a chunk done here, and I got a lot done up through here. So... It's basically just focusing and getting this done, but um, yeah, I'm pleased with it. It's I've been getting a lot done. It, I, I would have probably finished that if it wasn't for all the work that I did on Old World Map 2. And um, let me, hold on, I gotta go get this. Oh. I'm sitting in a different spot today because of uh, the sun was a little hotter over here and I thought maybe a different viewpoint of the stitchy wall might you know you guys might be able to see some of these a little bit better um so i moved over a little bit to do that <clears throat> so i got page seven done of old world map two and i just dropped the part that i had worked on there we go and uh took a while it took a while i th i think the last video i was like oh, i'll do this thursday you know i'll get this done thursday and i did stitch a lot on thursday but it's funny just how there's so many color changes when you're getting down to the nitty-gritty on this page and or all the pages really and it's just It takes a lot longer than you think it would than I thought it would um, But so page seven is done. Let me show ya Boy, it looks pretty those blues and yellows So and you'll see that not only did I get the so pretty much I filled in this is a mountain So I got this all filled in and then if you notice I got the Europa I fixed Europa so that was that was the last thing I did because I knew that if I if I didn't do it then I might forget about it and um, come back to it like who knows when. Uh, but pretty much all I did was just took like some dark blues and some dark grays and maybe some greenish kind of things and just filled that in. But it looks good from a distance and that's kind of all that matters. And so, uh, but yeah, so. On to the next. I've already gridded it. I'm going to get started on it today. Page 8. Super excited for a new page. Um, see how much I can get done this week. Uh, I, dropped my, I dropped my card. I was going to tell you guys a few things. So, um, having some conversations this week with uh, different folks. I had mentioned before about, you know, looking at new patterns and kind of what would I do. And... Um, I started, I looked a lot more at Hade and um, 
I went through that site this past week pretty well. Uh, I actually went through another site. Oh my goodness gracious, and I totally forgot what it was. I'll have to tell you on the next video, but there are two patterns outside of Hade that I like. There's a Halloween pattern that's kind of a Grim Reaper, um, the face of the Grim Reaper that I might do for a friend of mine um, at some point. I have too much to do. Um, and then there, uh, I saw a, I don't have it, I don't have it with me, but there was one that was another uh, artistic uh, painting of 1922 New York City with like the Flatirons building, the subway, and some different things. And it's just, it's really pretty. And I, for some reason, like this New York piece, I just like New York. I like stitching New York. Now this, the other one was more of a color, um, more of a colored piece. Uh, but it was just it was just calm colors. It was really nice looking. So, but when I, going back to Hade, I went to Hade and um, I was looking. I really like that treasure hunt bookshelf that so many of you guys are doing. I love the colors. It's really pretty. Um, it's also fairly big for the one that I would probably do. But there are two other artists on there that I love their works, and maybe someday I will select something from them. Sorry, I think I have a hair. A hair in this house? No. No. Um, I have, uh, let's see, I'll let's see if I can pronounce it, because they're both Russian. Yevgeny Lushpin, at least I think they're Russian, sounds Russian. Um, Yevgeny Lushpin has some beautiful works on there that I absolutely love. And then um, Leonid Afromov is the other one. And lots of color, really, really pretty. Um, and something I would definitely do just because of, I don't, you know, my stuff doesn't have a lot of color. A couple of the things I'm doing now have more color, but for the most part, I don't do a lot of color <clears throat> with my stuff. So, man, that hair, whatever it is, it's probably a cat hair because it doesn't want to go away. But, um, so that's, you know, I'm thinking about it, but maybe um, on the next video, I can um, tell you a little bit more about the other pieces that I'm contemplating getting at some point. But for now, I'm just super motivated to be working on um, Old World Map 2 and Yoda. And I mean, I've, the stuff I'm working on right now is, I'm really motivated to work on it. So we'll get a lot of stuff done in that regard. Um, gosh, I'm trying to like think of anything else that, you know, this is gonna be a shorter video. It's only like 13 minutes along right now. But I thought about showing my dogs. Uh, I've had some people say, you know, hey, let's see the crew. They're so ill-behaved, especially if I were to have the camera here and filming and talking. It's on a stand. They're going to come through. They're going to knock it down. Um, they're going to be all up in my face. They're going to, you know, it's just, it's more trouble than it's worth sometimes. Although at some point, maybe I'll try to edit it in. Man, the hair just doesn't want to go away. I'm trying to think I don't really have anything else. I got up way too early this morning. Got up at like six this morning on my day off, and I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a nap in my future here because I'm just I'm already so tired. But I'm definitely going upstairs. It is muggy and it is hot down here, and it's not even 8:30, so I'm gonna go upstairs and take all my stitchy stuff and get to work here. <sighs> it's gonna be a good stitchy day. Last thing, t-shirt. Um, Hope you guys like the one that I got last week. That that thing is so soft and feels so good. Um, I got another one that's in the same style that is super soft and thin, and I love it. It's the same color, but just a different design. Let me get out of the way here. All right. Well, I'm not even be able to show you. Goodness. Oh. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm up against the post here because of where I stitched. So it's a cross thing. It's a cross stitching thing. You probably wouldn't understand. So this thing is so soft. It is ridiculous how soft it is. So ow, I keep biting my lip. Um, I think that's it. I wish I had more today, but I don't. Um, a lot of it's just stitchy stuff, and a lot of it is just literally. It's just it's getting hotter and hotter. I can feel myself beginning to sweat in this house and it's only 76 and it, yes the air is on but it can't it just can't do its work um i need to soup it up maybe i can soup it up no i won't i'll probably blow the house up if i tried that all right well i think we're done you guys have a great stitchy week enjoy your uh weekend 
and uh, keep on working hard on your projects, and I will see you very soon. Take care.